nowadays, I don't know what platform you might be using here, but I do know that there is something called WhatsApp. I'm sure you know what it is, isn't it? People can sit on WhatsApp for five hours without even noticing that they've sat on it. I promise you. They can sit on the internet and on their phones for about 10 hours without even noticing that they've sat on the phone. And if they could eat, they would eat through the phone as well. Really? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. We waste time. We waste time. I was looking at my contact list last night. And I've got approximately three and a half thousand contacts on my phone. And I was thinking to myself, I had about 753 WhatsApp messages in the evening. And I'm thinking if I have to answer all these messages, I will be here for one week. And by that time, I will already be having more. So all I have to do is select a few, try and see. Oh, by the way, first scroll down and see if wifey has messaged. Mashallah. Yeah, you better do that because otherwise there's a problem. There'll be warfare, you know. <laughs> so you first scroll down and see if you know a few people, you know, some VIPs in your life, they need to be answered to immediately and you answer them. And then if there's numbers that you don't really know, or sometimes people who are just asking you, you know what really irritates me? And I'm going to say this aloud, okay? When someone says, Assalamu Alaikum, okay, I said, Wa Alaikum as -salam. There's no verse of the Quran and no hadith which says I need to type it out. Do you know that? You type, you send me a salam alaikum. I said, wa alaikum as salam. But so I said it. I, who said I need to type it out? I really. So now the person says, if I do type it out, wa alaikum as salam. They say, now I am busy doing so many things. And here I have a salam alaikum. And I think, oh, mashallah, you know, beautiful brother, uh, you know, a genuine sister, for example, wa alaikum as salam. Maybe they want something important. How are you? I'm fine. How's your children? Oh, they're okay. How's everyone? That's okay. How's the weather? Come on, get to the point, please. What do you want? It's not like I'm being funny, but come on, these are important. If there was something wrong, I would put it on Facebook to say, guys, I'm feeling sick, make dua for me. Subhanallah. The whole world would know, oh, sick. Subhanallah. Remember the last time I had a motor vehicle accident and the whole world knew about it? Do you remember? And shukran for your duas, by the way. You can see I'm fit. Mashallah. I'm here in front of you, isn't it? Alhamdulillah. Shukran, shukran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us genuinely feel for one another. Don't wait for someone to advertise that they are unwell. Just make a dua for the entire ummah. And if there are specific names, say them. Don't worry, draw a list of names, you know, and keep on saying, Oh Allah, help, bless this person, bless that person, oh Allah, help them in whatever they're going through. May Allah help every single one of you in whatever you need His help in. And that's your entire life. I mean, may Allah alleviate whatever suffering every one of you, and myself included, is going through. I tell you, we are all going through major issues, major issues, but of a different nature. Some are health matters, some are financial matters, some are social matters, some are marital matters, some are whatever other matters they are. Make sure that it's not the link between you and Allah that is being tested. Make sure that that is solid. So the point I was raising is we can sit on WhatsApp and we are doing nothing. All we're doing is, oh, okay, did you smell the rose outside? How did it smell? And come on, man. And we've got nothing to do. We take pictures of our food and we take pictures of everything and we start sending it to this person and that person. And when I went to the mall, I posed this way and I showed them a picture and I posed the other way and I showed them a picture. And I tried this piece of clothing and I did this to my shoe to show them what type of a shoe I bought. Come on, you rather say Astaghfirullah 10 times, it will land you inshallah straight into Jannah. Subhanallah. May Allah grant us goodness. Let's remember this waste of time is one of shaitan's biggest traps. Shaitan, one of his biggest traps is to make you waste time. And if you look at your own profile on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or WhatsApp, what, the way you use this technology, you will know whether you are already enslaved in that regard. What is this? It is the waste of time. What are you doing on it? Nothing. I'm just sitting, I'm socializing. It's not haram to socialize. Set yourself the time of the day. Half an hour a day, I will use my phone. Woo. La ilaha illallah. 30 minutes a day, I'll use my phone. In fact, if I were to ask you to put up your hands, my hand would be the first one down. Mashallah. But the, the point I'm making is cut down, cut down on it. Come on. Wallahi, it will help you. And don't say I'm bored. What should I do? No, occupy yourself with something important. For the, for the sake of Allah, it might be your last day on earth. And if you have the attitude that today might be the last day of, you know, of mine on earth, one day it will definitely be your last day. It has to. So this is Allah and this is why we say subhanallah if you do not know how to use technology properly cut it out totally 
If you do know, alhamdulillah, use it and benefit. But if it's coming between you, if it's coming, you know, breaking your marriage, for example, cut it out, throw it away. Let people dial you who really need you on the landline. If not, let them call you on your husband's phone or your wife's phone. MashaAllah. The only difference is when the wife's phone rings, she'll have an interview before your interview. MashaAllah. Subhanallah, I recall a story where there was one sister who answered her husband's phone and she interviewed this person who had called for half an hour. And then she says, okay, hold on for my husband. Then she said, hold on. And then she's interviewing the husband. Do you know this person? Do you know this? Do you know? Now there's another half an hour. An hour later, the phone was already put down and everything was sorted out. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us, really. Imagine if we are fearing our spouses so much, what type of interviews will we have on the day of judgment, man? When we will not be able to lie, we won't be able to get away from anything. And that's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May He have mercy on us.